you know, if you want to learn how to start a business and run a business, we believe the best way to do it is to actually uh, go ahead and do it. But of course, that's not necessarily feasible in the real world, so we've simulated the running of a business. Uh, everything from, uh, you know, choosing your products and pricing your products and hiring employees by reading through resumes and negotiating salary offers with those employees and managing your finances uh, and so on. So the ultimate goal of a simulation like that is to teach you how to successfully run a business. One of the you know, real challenging issues in education, which is different than gaming, is what should those goals be? Because mm -hmm. uh, you're not necessarily, you know, shooting someone or, you know, chasing someone down uh -huh. some A's. Um, you have to actually, in terms of education, ultimately, the ultimate objective in education is to change someone's behavior. In traditional games, the goals are pretty easy because they're they're simple and they're set and they're kind of arbitrary with respect to life. But in life, goals are maybe a little bit more complicated and trying to model them in the game is a little bit more complicated as well. That's, that's exactly right. And, um, and you know, you have to be careful on the education side because you are influencing people's behavior. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, the goals cannot be arbitrary, like, you know, as you, as you suggest. Uh, we have a couple of rules when we design. One is we don't like to use metaphors. So, you know, if we want to teach you about business, we're not going to put you in space and, you know, set you up like you're trading with space aliens and so on. That might be interesting and fun, but we believe it gets in the way of learning. Um, you know, some people might suggest that it adds to cognitive overload because your brain ha now has to interpret the metaphor in addition to what you're actually trying to teach them. Uh -huh. uh, other people have different opinions on that, I'm sure. But for us, we want to recreate and put you in that uh, as realistic environment as possible. Mm. We're actually, even though we're basing the variables and the interrelation of, between variables on the real world, we're actually exaggerating and accelerating the consequences of the decisions you're making in the simulation so that you can learn better. And what I mean by that is, you know, if a consequence is too nuanced, it's too subtle, you as a learner may not even notice that consequence. Mm -hmm. And if you don't notice the consequence, then you're not really learning, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we want to exaggerate consequence and we also want to accelerate them so that, you know, you don't have to wait days, weeks, months, years for something to happen. We want it to happen within a matter of minutes or hours. So again, you get that opportunity to experience everything um, as quickly as possible so you can you know, learn from that and react from that. Right, now one, one thing that you're, what you're talking about reminds me of a little bit is the idea of Farmville. Right, in, mm. farm, in Farmville, you're supposed to be a farmer and when you plant something, you don't have to wait till next spring for it to come up. It comes up immediately, and you have this, you have sort of, you, you get the idea of what it's like to be a farmer. You get immediate rewards for it, and that, and that moves you forward, and you feel like, well, I feel like I've kind of done some farming after playing that. That's one side of the equation, but the other side of the equation is it's really a simplistic view of what it means to be a farmer, and they leave out 99.99% .99 of the experience. How do you deal with that same sort of issue? Yeah, and your analogy is, is, is definitely a good one. Um, so as an example, let's take a lemonade stand simulation. You might only make three or four decisions. The price of your lemonade, how much inventory you're going to stock based on the weather and the expected traffic patterns that you're going to put through, and maybe the quality of your uh, ingredients. Three simple decisions, but it's actually very complex interrelated learning that's going on in those three decisions. You've got price, ma you've got price and profitability, you've got forecasting, you've got inventory management, all happening in a very rudimentary, rudimentary simulation. Mm -hmm. So even though it could be used at, uh, for very young kids, it actually can also be used by adults who just aren't ready for the next step. And once they understand the fundamentals, then you can move them on to something that's in, in greater detail, like negotiating salaries with actually empl actual employees and reviewing resumes and so on. So at, at the base level of your simulation, where you somehow are saying, I understand the, the creation and running of a business so well that I can boil it down to some algorithm and I can boil it down to some set of very simple principles that you should learn as well. So back to Farmville, they, 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 they are modeling the fundamentals of agriculture without any of the nuance, but their contention is actually if you learn this stuff, you have learned something useful. You've learned, you've learned what we consider to be the most essential parts of that activity, and now you're better at it than you would have been before. Uh, correct, and of course with uh, a game like Farmville, they're not necessarily interested in teaching you about farming. They want you to have a, a fun experience sure. so they can sell ads or you know, lead generation right. or whatever it may be. So their objective from a business perspective is very different than it might be from ours uh, trying to deliver a, a training uh, experience.